for the sign of Aries, hello and welcome to my channel. Let's see what's going on in December. This will be for the third week of December 2020. For the sign of Aries, what is the overall love energy for the sign of Aries? Just remember the top cards are paired with the bottom cards. In the decks that I use for this reading, I'll have them listed in the description box below. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Aries, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we've got the Magician and it's with the Star card. Now, the Magician is a card that often signifies new beginnings, great expectations. This card reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives. And in the world, if we simply try. So just know, as the magician, you will not have it all handed to you on a plate. But you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it. If you do the magic yourself. Because the magician is all about action. If you do nothing, you get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something. Because anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. Now, it's with a star card. Now, the star card, you could find yourself feeling really inspired. And feeling more hopeful about the future than you have in a long time. You will probably feel more confident that your needs, whether they're emotional or financial, they're being met. Could be both of them. Just know that nothing can be taken for granted. But, like I said, it's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. This can also be a spiritual card. So you could find yourself, at least for a time, feeling at one with all of creation. And it's not a common feeling, so you want to make sure to savor it for as long as you can. So... Aries, like I said, the recent past energy between you and your person, the magician, clarified by the star. What I'm getting for a lot of you, Aries, is that, um, well, I'm actually getting two, two downloads here. I'm getting, for some of you, you're manifesting new beginnings for the up and coming new year. And it looks like you're starting, you're trying to start now. A lot of great new beginnings for yourself and for your life. You're looking to feel like um, you have a lot of hope, a lot of faith. Because that's what the star card is about. You're looking for a renewal. Yeah, you're looking for inner clarity. You want any. Grief of the past, you want that to be gone. Yeah. So you, you, you're looking for, um, probably, you're probably trying to feel like, for some of you, you're trying to feel like you used to feel, when you used to feel fabulous and great all the time. So, yeah, some of you are putting a lot of manifestation powers towards the new year and you're doing that now now for some of you Aries you've got someone who's manifesting or trying to manifest a connection with you could be someone that you know maybe it's someone that you met but they like the way that you make them feel maybe it's someone that you're dealing with they're trying to manifest a new beginning with you. And they wanted to, I'm getting that they wanted to, um, 
if it's not taken off now, they want it to take off and be a fresh start for the new year. Yeah, it could be someone you know or the person you're dealing with. They're being strategic and planning and you probably don't even know it because that's what the magician does. This person likes that you give them a lot of hope and renewal and faith. Yeah, they feel rejuvenated when they're with you. Yeah, so those are the two downloads I was getting. I had to put it out there. I, I kind of like to get one, one, um, one, one storyline, but I was getting two, so um, I guess someone needed to hear both. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the present. So we got the Ten of Pentacles, and it's with the Eight of Cups. Now, the Ten of Pentacles, it says that you have a great deal to be thankful for, your relationships of all kind, finance, health. All these things should be going well. But you might need to consider how you got to such a happy situation. Make the best of it. Be sure to share what you have, even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need. Because we all know that we get back what we give out. Now, the Ten of Pentacles is with the Eight of Cups. This card, it often means that you'll choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you. Whether it's a relationship, a job, a neighborhood, there could be some sadness involved, but the separation is actually going to be in your best interest. Know that renewed good times, they lie ahead. And if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, a job, a living, a living arrangement. Trust yourself. Instead of this information coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you, it usually means that you're the one who will make this choice. Just know that very often one door has to close behind, behind you before the next door in front of you can fully open. So, Aries, coming up, Ten of Pentacles, clarified by this Eight of Cups. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles is beautiful. Everyone wants the Ten of Pentacles in a reading. Everyone wants it. Ten of Pentacles can mean a lot of money. You see this lady, she's walking. If you put your screen on, if you blow it up, you can see what she's walking on. It looks like she's walking on stones or a walking path, but those are pinnacles. Yeah, that's a lot of money there. Wow, some of you are coming, going, coming to a lot of money. Or your money is going to be really, really good. Or there's someone that wants commitment with you. Because the Ten of Pentacles can be about commitment, marriage, childbirth, the connection going to the next level. Just having it all. Someone wants it all with you, Aries. Yeah, they feel like you're the one for them. Also, keep in mind, Ten of Pentacles can mean a second chance. So like I said... For some of you, you got someone trying to manifest you into their life. Could be someone new, someone that you just met, or someone that you already know. This person, they feel like you're the one. They could have it all with you. But it's, it's with this Eight of Cups. Yeah, so... You're not interested. It's showing that you're moving on. Yeah, you're walking away and you're leaving it behind. Not interested. Yeah, so somebody really, really wants to be with you, Aries. Really. They think that, th that the two of you would be living your best life. That's what you get with the Ten of Pentacles. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We've got the Moon card and Five of Cups. Now, the Moon card. 
It can be about feeling psychic, intuitive, more than usual. It's going to be important for you to trust your instincts, your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when you get the moon card, it's possible that all is not what it seems. If you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. So go with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, it may unfortunately take longer than you would like for it to. So you have to try to stay patient. Now, it's with the Five of Cups, which is another card, which reminds us that where we put our focus has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So what are you going to choose to focus on? The implication is probably very clear. Are you going to cry over spilled milk or are you going to focus on the milk that you still have and get on with things? What I'm trying to say is when you get the Five of Cups, there is some disappointment. But you have to watch where you put your focus. Make sure that the focus is for your highest good. Yeah, like I said, Aries, it looks like who, whomever this is that's, that really wants to be with you, they like the way that you make them feel. You make them feel like a superstar. You make them feel fabulous, rejuvenated. You give this person a lot of hope. It looks like you you want to leave it behind. You just, yeah, it looks like showing the eight of cups is point blank. You're walking away. For some of you, you're thinking about it. But the challenge is that it's showing that Well, with the Five of Cups, like I said, Five of Cups is about disappointment, loss, regret, feeling abandoned and unloved. Yes, yeah, so this is how you're making your person feel. They see that you're, you're no longer interested or you're not going forward with them. They see it, they feel it, and maybe for some of you, you even told them this. Um, with the moon card, the moon card can mean a few things. Like I said, it can be about deception. Someone's wearing a mask or not saying how they truly feel. So, you could have these feelings about your person and that's why you're not going forward with them yeah you kind i'm getting the i'm getting this feeling that you don't trust them or you don't trust that the connection would be stable you think that there's there could be secrets that this person doesn't sh share with you or they're too secretive they hold back yeah. Yeah, but this person, they, they're disappointed. They, they'll be missing you. Five of Cups can mean missing you, disappointment, crying over spilt milk. Yeah, a lot of you felt like this person was a, a big fat liar. A big old liar and you just had enough of it and you you've you're moving on and walking away but they want they want they want you Aries they want to be with you so let's move on over let's see what the outcome is we have the hermit and it's with the Queen of Pentacles now the hermit can be a spiritual card it could have something to do with institutions 
large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It's kind of like the strength card. You could be in the frame of mind where you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This can also be a card about trying really hard to do the right thing. But you got to make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally. And not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. Now, the Hermit is with Queen of Pentacles. Now, this card can indicate that you could be spending maybe time, money, and energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. And this is a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt. There could be people looking to you for insight, maybe some advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. This is going to be a time period when you get a whole lot accomplished. So your outcome here is the Hermit clarified by this Queen of Pentacles. It, it looks like you're for certain that you you don't want this. Yeah. Because we got this Eight of Cups. The, we got the Eight of Cups and the Hermit. Your person's disappointed though. You're walking away. They're trying to manifest a new beginning with you, a fresh new start. You're someone that they feel like they can have it all with. Yeah. You're walking away. They're missing you. Now with the Hermit card here, it looks like... Yeah, you just kind of want to... Kind of want to be to yourself, it looks like, because Hermit is about clearing your mind, getting rid of getting rid of some baggage. So that's what you'll be doing. That's what it shows a lot of you will be doing, just spending some time alone. And this is going to be your choice. Yeah, you want to get rid of any residual baggage that you had been carrying from this connection with this person. Or maybe from other things, because the New Year's is coming, and it looks like a lot of you, you want to cleanse and be ready for this fresh start for the New Year. You don't want any baggage to be tagging along, so you, it's like a lot of you will be trying to clear your, clear your soul, clear your energy, free your mind. And just cleanse. And you, you got to do it by um, spending some time alone. Yeah. And, and, and this is also, you get this with the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles is the card below the word outcome. It's like you're just falling back. You're just being chill. That's what she's doing. She's in her backyard. She's got her, her dog is sleeping on her toes, keeping her feet warm. She's feeding the squirrels and the birds that come by to say hi. And she's she looks like she's just looking at her her bank account, that pinnacle that she's cuddling. When you hear the word pinnacles in the chair, that can mean money, cash, coins, finance, income. She's looking at it and she's smiling, so you're just being thankful that you're being thankful for all that you do have. It looks like you could be counting your blessings. A lot of you are thankful that you got out of the connection with this person and that you, you're able to get a peace of mind now. Yeah, get a peace of mind. And a lot of you know how important that is. There's nothing like a peace of mind. Nothing. That's priceless. Yeah, so that's the outcome. Peace of mind. That's what I will call this outcome. You're going for it. So, Aries, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. 
As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those. So, Aries, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. Getting ready for the new year. Taking good care of yourselves. Stay strong. This crazy virus is going to pass soon. And we're all going to get through this. So, like I said, take good care. Come back and join me for the next Aries reading. Just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Yeah, you have to keep in mind, these are general readings, so they don't resonate with everyone. Also keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend. Could be a family member, a situation, perhaps. And yes, the roles can be switched. When I say you, you could be them, or they could be you. The roles can be reversed. So, Aries, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. Happy holidays. I hope to see you at the next reading. Have a great day and take care.